Here's the uh, York Master tuba that I got off eBay um, about a year ago. And um, this is silver plated on E flat tuba. I don't know what year this tuba was actually made and um, if anybody can shed some light on that that would be great um, um, I have it uh, I have it tied together here with some twine uh, in a couple spots um, and uh, the the bracing is all uh, completely come apart and this whole section is uh, completely separated but um, it's pretty sturdy uh, the way I tied it um, and the uh, slides are kind of seized um, there's a lot of um, bad distortion and denting in the bell I heard that this can affect uh, tone because these um, this forms an, like an L girder, like a stiffening, uh, which can um, to, uh, not allow the the instrument to resonate properly. Plus, it it makes it shorter, um, which could could change pitch, change the pitch of the instrument. Um, when I got this, uh, uh, I couldn't get any air to go th to, to blow through it, and um, I, uh, I, um, the valves are all seized, so I got them loose with some penetrating oil and a he heat gun, uh, but I still couldn't get any air to go through. Um, I thought that maybe somebody had... Uh, Put something something had gotten stuck in here um, um, but it, it turned out that the valves were in the wrong spot the one valve was in the the, um, the wrong cylinder and so um, I, I switched the valves around and bingo uh, that worked so it's probably going to cost a couple hundred dollars to get the dents removed and uh, the bracing resoldered and the uh, slides unseized. I don't want anything done to the finish. I love the um, the uh, silver um, tarnished silver look. I, I, I really, lo really love that uh, that look. But um, I wonder how much better this would actually sound if I did get these dents taken out. Uh, bad dent here in the bottom too.